I've been wanting to say this shit to y'all for years, respectfully, to the black Hebrew Israelites. What purpose do y'all serve, bro? Every time I see you niggas, y'all standing on street corners, dressed like superheroes and barbarians, just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit, but to cause con confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. Bunch, bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, niggas, you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a turban and cape. I'm supposed to listen to you, son? Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas, respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money. Broke ass, angry niggas, man. That get on my nerves. Respectfully, the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will destroy two thirds of all Israelites in America, Babylon, the Great. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone. This video will be entitled Hebrew Israelites. You you shall be hated of all men, or you will be hated of all men. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling. I am to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of the Savior, the glory and majesty, the dominion and power, both now and ever, and so be it. Giving all praises and honor and all glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham, Rocha, Kodash, Double Honor, the Mighty Church, the Apostles, the Elders, and the Bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yachim, who avoid the dark, sincere, and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rocha, Kodash. Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. <coughs> I'm the brother, the disciple Koshar Ben Yemen from the branch in Great Millstone, Barbados. Um, yeah, if you go a spiritual eye, you can see that um, the Lord is judging scoffers. Right, I'm gonna get a preset here before. So, like a minute. Yeah, this is a uh, second Peter chapter three verse three. Knowing this first that they should come in the last days, scoffers, right? Walking after their own lust. Cause you hear in the video, he's telling, he's saying um, the men broke, but they don't get a job. Let you know, let you know those men up there. You ain't got no money. Everything is about money. Money, money, money. You know what I mean? Is that it? It's going to say it's blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. So he's just speaking from an emotional standpoint. Really, he is the Lord, you know? Like I said, <clears throat> knowing this first, they should come in the last day of scoffers walking after their own lust. And there's another one, right? There's another one, um, so like a minute, because you see he wanted to say it for years, right? So he's just showing you that, 
Hold on a minute. Trying to find that one. It's one that says, um, yeah, Jude. Let's find it. Jude 1. Hey, look at Jude chapter 1. One chapter long. Again, the eighth verse. So the Lord's brother even warned us that, you know what I mean? Um, of men you see as such. And women too, right? Women get in, in score from Mark too, so, uh, you know? Jude 1. So, like I thought I was a dear big man. So that came on. It's been mockers in the last time because yeah, that's the time we in. You know what I mean? The time of judgment. Like what happened to the brother, the former member of uh, Great Millstone, Trinidad. He wanted to pursue a um, singing career, right? To build a house for his mother, right? And he called the Lord a setback because he was talented and uh, whoever he went to ask him where he was all this time and he said he had a setback in life and that's the time where he was serving the Lord you know what I mean so being the time where um, the Lord is judging a lot of people ones that in the truth and the ones that are outside of the truth is right the Lord is judging them so so we should see these things and um, fear and cling more to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right I swear I had it just now boy they should be mockers in the last times Can't find it at all. Um, all right, so let me get this preset here. <clears throat> right? Jude chapter 1. Okay, I had it right the first time. Jude chapter 1. One chapter long. The body of by Shimei And 16, right? These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. And their mouth speaketh great swelling words. You see that? Having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Jude 1 and 17. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shia Mashiach. Here's the point. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. You see that? Who should walk after their own ungodly lust. So to go after money, money, because his, precip his precipice was where you want to get some money. And the, the, the former member of Great Millstone, he left the camp because he wanted to pursue a singing career to get money to build a house for his mother. You see? And now he's, he has been judged, he's, he has been shot, right? And uh, I think he's in critical condition. You see? Right? Get shot in the head. I'm sure if he, if he recovered or if he's still in critical condition. You see? Right? So you can't abandon the Lord for something in this world, big man. That's what the video I just showed you. That Johnny come lately. He's just an empty barrel that makes a lot of noise, you know what I mean? He doesn't understand what's going on in the world, you know what I mean? But when he gets shook up by the police, you can see a lot of people in the neighborhood with candlelit vigils, you know what I mean? And, 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 and setting up prayers 
to him, oh, let's pray for whoever you fucking name. But you don't even hear those prayers. You see? You need to hear those prayers. So really he, if you look at that spiritually, he really hates Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? Because he had it holding, he had it bottling for years. But because of the time period, you know, the Lord let him bring it out. You see? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Now that kid is the prophet. If you look at his face, let me get that one, boy. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. So, hey, when I, when I don't understand the judgment that's going to come upon this earth, right? A lot of you murdered the prophets in the, in, in the ancient world, right? So you can pay. Now they can pay, boy. Um, Saint Matthew twenty-three, right, and verse thirty-seven. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them. Which are sent under thee. So the purpose of the men on the highways and hedges is to do what? Matthew 10 and 5. Right? Let me get it. Say Matthew 10 verse 5. You see me out there for sure. At least, at least uh, from the headmen all down of Great Millstone. I know for sure. I know there for sure. You see? Out there to do the will of Yahweh Ba Hashem You see? Said Matthew 10 verse 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep. Right. That we Lord tell us to do. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the reason why. The prophets are out to tell you that this world is coming to an end, get right, and that a better world is coming which will be run by our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and we will be the next rulers, right? But some have, uh, they don't want to hear, they don't want to hear that. They, they want to hear smooth things, you know what I mean? We, we were doing for the community. The Lord ain't telling them about no community, big man. The Lord told us to go and preach the word. You understand? That we said to do. Prophet ain't here to set up no soup kitchen. You know what I mean? When the Lord did that, we wanna do when the only follow the Lord because when the when love when the love on the belly. That way the Lord said, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but labor for the meat which is the everlasting life. So let me get this one here now. No, St. Matthew 23, 37, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them. Which I sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. And that's why you hear he get no, he get no. He was really angry. He's really, he really despised the Lord. You see. So this is this is um, Saint John eight and twenty four. I said therefore unto you. That ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. <clears throat> and that's plain. You see? Right. Continuing. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And they have a shy say unto them, Even the same that I say unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. And we doing the same thing. You see? We doing the same thing, big man. Verse 27, they understood not that he spared to them of the Father. Then said you have a share unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father have taught me, I speak these things. Verse 29, and he, and he that sent me is with me. 
the Father have not left me alone for I do always those things that please him so when you see the brothers going out you're trying to please your Hawa Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai not the world this world is already condemned this world is already judged you see this world is already judged as he spake those words many believed on him verse 31 then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him if ye continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed and the former member of Trinidad he did not continue the Lord's word he he left he turned his back on the Lord he sinned willfully so then no more sacrifice for sins be so so that's why he was he's in the state he's in right now and that's really a lesson for me now look big man no matter what you're getting through and when these seducing spirits come because they are out there when these seducing spirits come and God do it my lord you have a shy be because you see he was he, he was so um he trusted in his talent so much that he knew he could do better or he felt he could do better you see and he put aside the lord when that seducing spirit told him Man, you could go and make something of yourself. Look at your mother house. Do you know what I mean? A seducing spirit is, is something that is, 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 um, entices you. Do you know what I mean? It sways you from your course of action. He was on the, he was on the path to life. And he left the narrow road. Let me get that. That Matthew 7. He left the narrow road. So Matthew 7 and 13 and he in at the straight gate right so he didn't want to continue he did not want to continue for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in there at. so he left the narrow road he said the Lord was a setback go on the broad path which leads to destruction he said Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. He left the narrow road, gone the broad path, and now he's in uh he has been he was shot in the head. <clears throat> See? So many let me get Luke 6. Then Luke 6 and um, 26, right? Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you. <clears throat> for for so did their fathers to the false prophets. You see? So woe unto them. That speak well of you. So you should be glad that you got Negroes that you got um <clears throat> you got so lucky a minute. You got Negroes, you got Negroes as such. Yeah, let's just go ahead and bring it up. See this is the reason why the world hates us is because we testify against it. Let's see, works there of You got a lot of impulsive people when it comes. So therefore, it's giving the, you know, it's giving the truth. See your good works and glorify your father. I don't want to say this should be out for years, respectfully to the black Hebrew Israelites. What purpose do y'all serve, bro? Every time I see you niggas, y'all standing on street corners, dressed like superheroes and barbarians, just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't... You sound like an idiot, man. Talking there with a sense, right? You're just talking emotionally. You see? You should have really see what's going on, but then again, he despised... 
Uh, let me get the idea. Um, was that him? <clears throat> so like here. Um, this is um. Is it Matthew ten and forty. This is it, my brother. So lucky, man. St. Luke 10, verse 16. St. Luke 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So this Negro here, he really despises Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? He really does. And that way, Lord said, uh, Ezekiel 9. Ezekiel chapter 9. Then shot shot man. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Right? And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that say, and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So he doesn't have that mark. That thawa, which means exempt from judgment. He doesn't have that. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity. So they are utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. <coughs> so, a lot of Israelites are going to get judged because they really hate the Lord, you know what I mean? They see the light. Right? That's what Proverbs um They see the light and they hate it, boy, you know what I mean? Proverbs 15. Then they about to St. John. Then they get shot shot, boy. So Proverbs 15. Him, man. Proverbs 15 verse 25 The Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai will destroy the house of the proud but he will establish the border of the widow. You see that? So all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You see? Right? So uh, did they finish that? Uh, St. John here. Oh yeah, I think I did finish it. Yeah, right, I did finish it. Alright, so yeah, I, I just want to do this short video here, man. You know what I mean? Uh, just to show you how, you know what I mean, the days where um, scoffers rising up, the, 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 the true hearts is being manifested now. Is that it? Um, the ones that was in this truth and left, right? The Lord has no pleasure in you. You see? You left the Lord for something in this world. This world is temporal. Hebrews 10 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving of the soul you see that i take that word perdition goes into destruction you see perdition it's a lucky minute man
uh, punishment and damnation unto which a sinful and unrepent and unpenitent person passes after death uh, destruction doom ruination downfall you see so We ain't the ones that can go back and draw back into perdition. We ain't gonna be drawn back into be to, to be uh, destroyed. You know what I mean? We ain't selling willfully. You see? Uh, we bearing our cross. We bearing our cross. Lord willing to the end. Me myself, Lord willing to my end. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just want to do this short video, man. That was for my mind. How he left. He, he, he called the Lord a setback. And then this rep a bit here. He wanted to see it out for years, man. So it's only a matter of time, but when the Lord bring on the hammer, that way you script to say is what? Pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry nor a prayer for them. For I will not hear. You see? Yeah, B, so it made no sense, B. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, for they are our most rebellious hopes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, shalom.